worse than I'm found. I'm more black than I'm brown. I'm coming on for my crown, and I know when I do that, it's gonna go down. Yeah. What is it? What is it? What's going on, gang? It's your guy, Bartis Beauty. You are locked into another episode of Brit in a Bando. Let me give myself a round of applause. Let me give you a lot of round of applause. Let me get a pound. Bosh. Today, we are reacting to a song by Snow the Product, Mercule, and... Um, what is my man's name? I can't believe I forgot his name. Tech Nine. Right. Snow the product, Mercure and Tech Nine, and the song is called Warfare. Okay. One more time. What's going on, gang? It's your guy, but as beauty, you are locked into another episode of Britain a Bando. Listen, large you lot up for taking me to 600 subs. What is going on? We are readily approaching seven. I think a thousand is round the corner. I appreciate you lot. I love every single one of my subs, even the ones. Uh, let's leave it alone. Even the ones that shout out for um for um. Adam Calhoun and they get they're mad at me but they support Adam Calhoun I don't understand it but it's okay I'm gonna be petty it's all right I can do that listen today we are reacting to Snow the Product Hercule Tech Nine Warfare this is a song that I've been put on to I've been told I need to hear it I've been told I need to react to it and who better to react to it with than you so I'm listening to it for the first time let's give it a go Snow the Product Hercule Tech Nine Warfare let's go I thought I had friends, but they all was wishing I'd fall off. Come on, it's my position. I was winning. I'm playing, they all was with me, but I was feeling them. Hate like I was competition. Box was different. People said they thought some shit in. Other people said they not. Yo, uh, Snow the Product is cold. I've known Snow the Product was cold for a while, but, um, I feel like she's underrated. She's huge in her community. I think she's got a video with like 100 million views. So obviously, she's known and she's got a stomping ground. I just feel like she should definitely be more global you know what i'm saying she's definitely got the complexion that the world love not only that but she's talented beyond that i can already hear from these bars and i've heard her before that um she's a spitter in fact probably one of the better ones out of the females discluding none but let's let her rock <laughs> I don't trust anyone that wasn't starving with me. I love when girls like know the rules, like the ride rules, you know what I'm saying? Like, just get it, you know? The police pull us over, just give me that. I put that in my purse. This is just stories. This is, this is just stories. None of this has ever happened before. These are stories. Just like yesterday, the art of storytelling. These are stories. See, even these, even these bars, like, you have to be a writer to even be comfortable spitting like this, because you'll get, you'll get lost. It will sound like it's the same thing over again. D D down and a D D down and a down and a down and a D D down and a D D down and a D D down. It takes a, it takes a level. It takes a level of just lyrical understanding to execute certain things. You have to know when to take a breath. You have to know um, when to let the beat breathe. You have to know when to drop a punch. You have to know when to fall back. You have to know when there's middle ground. And every MC doesn't know that. Even some of the great MCs that know that still can't be marketed. Snow the product is yet to blow. You know, this is the first time you're seeing me listen to her music. And this is the first time I'm reacting to this song. But I've seen Snow the Product before and she's been a problem. I've heard I've heard certain people saying she's been writing. She's ghostwriting for a lot of the big girls in the industry. But um, let's get back to the reaction. Yeah, it looks like we might be going to war, guys. This stuff that's happening right now with Russia and Ukraine is insane. Absolutely insane. Um, 
the craziest part, like I've been seeing, um, exactly something I wanted to talk about in uh, in the next live, which I probably, which I want to go on at some point today. But it's, you know, you see Vladimir Klitschko, and I forget the gentleman's name that beat, um, what is my man's name? He's heavyweight in London. I'm supposed to know his name, obviously. Um, he's like a he's like a heart from all the girls like him. He's like a poster child. Anthony Joshua, right? So he beat Anthony Joshua because Anthony Joshua tried to fight him, you know, the way that he fights. I feel like he's tired of being labeled that way, you know, the, the the poster boy for boxing, the pretty boy. He just wants to be just rate me for for my skills. You know what I mean? But um yeah, he beat him and I've seen pictures of them strapping up and going to war and you know, you gotta rate that. I've I've always questioned, you know, who wins in war, you know. You look at the last war that happened in Afghanistan and I think of how many of my friends left and, you know, swore that this is the way to go. And I think they were kind of taken advantage of. You look at how Biden just pulled everyone out and cared not. It's just sad, man. I know so many guys that were just never, ever, ever the same. But, you know, when you're faced with immediate, like, look, these guys are taking the piss. Like, imagine, like, even you got people here that say, oh, I'd never go to war. I'd never fight for America. But can you imagine that it was blatant war? Not outside, and forgive me for my, my terminology, hashtag dyslexic lives matter, but not war outside of the country. You know what I'm saying? No, we're here and another country is invading this country and killing people in the country. Surely that's a different animal that we will be discussing and I'm pretty sure you'd have a way bigger um you know influx of people that want to sign on because it's immediate you can see like these look look they just killed everyone around us I saw an incident where a tank just drove over innocent people you want to be able to fight back so I rate them man for standing up for their country basically what I was saying I rate them highly it's um it's admirable it's admirable back to the reaction Gutra Pali. That sounds like something like when you're a penner. Right, like when you do this, you put pen to pad, and it's something that you pride yourself on. There are certain things that you say that you believe that you know you, des you deserve more of a rating for. So I'm interested to know what that means, what that is. You know, when I was younger, um, bars about the trooper cobbler I used to think was sick. I had a brethren, he was my DJ. I did, I did have a DJ, well, for a couple of months anyway, and he had a bar about a trooper cobbler and he made me look into what it was, and I always found that dope when you make me look into what a word means. I'm not going to look into it now. I'll probably let you know what it means later, but that's, that was hard. He's good. He's he's good. He's saying the right things and he's putting the, the, the words in the right places. He knows how to rap. I never heard of this guy before, but he's lyrically sound. He's flowing on beat. It's not nothing that I would probably ever listen to again. I'm sure when it comes and, and when it comes to Gutrapali, this is the character from is this third rock? Big Bang, the Big Bang Theory. I'm not sure if that's who he was talking about, but that name came up when I looked for what he was talking about. As I'm saying, the pieces to the bars, you saw Snow the product put them together easily, effortlessly. It sounds like he's trying. I feel like a real rapper, It, although they're rapping, 
it should be so effortless it's as if they're speaking and what makes it dope is they're basically what makes it dope is they're basically just speaking in rhyme form when you you can tell the artists that have to rehearse their lines and they're not really living their bars or at least they don't come across that way you know what i'm saying to me um Hercule or Mercule sounds more like an aspiring artist, whereas obviously Snow the product may be independent, but she's been doing this for a while. And obviously Tech Nine is a vet, but um, we're about to see how you put those. I haven't heard this verse, but I can assure you that it's gonna flow way more smoothly than the one we heard prior. <laughs> I like him on the hook. It sounds like it could be him on the hook. I like him on whoever's on the hook. I like the hook a lot. The hook, the hook is hard, especially in the time that we're in right now. The hook is hard. Nowhere to hide. Your life's on the line. What you gonna do? I don't think you're ready for warfare. Yo, this guy's so cold. And um you know, I always I'm I'm always the one to tell the truth, you know, about how I feel and how I judge my rappers back in the day and it really was you know, I was so turned out on Doggy Style. I was so turned out on Wu-Tang. I was so turned out on Biggie, you know. And I didn't even realize at the time this was something that was considered gangster rap. I think if I'd even said it that way, my mom would never have let me listen to it. I'm just like, this is... Well, I knew Snoop was gangster rap. And I knew Ice Cube was gangster rap, right? But, you know, is, was Gangster's Paradise Gangster Rap? I guess Coolio was a big crip. And Gangster's Paradise went to number one in London for a long, long time. So I guess we were all listening to Gangster Rap. But yeah, back in the day, if it wasn't Gangster Rap, I didn't really want to hear it. So Tech 9 was someone I knew of. But, um, you know, the same way I came into this game with Harry Mack and the same way I, I dealt with um, even Tom McDonald. It was hard. It was hard for me to accept them in the space that they're in. That's a different kind of hip hop, you know what I'm saying? I was listening to uh, Big Bro, one of his live streams, and he was saying that Tom McDonald appears to not really like hip hop or rap. I love it, you know what I'm saying, and that's why I'm here to critique it. What I like about Tom, you know, I'm straying from the point. What I like about Tom is he's been bold enough to create his own space, and that is what you should all be doing. Like, that's what it means when it's like, don't follow any man's path. Like, build your own path. Yeah, get ideas, but build your own realm. That's what we should all be doing. Building our own networks, building our own labels, building our own uh, streaming networks within them. You know what I'm saying? Within a, a, a bridge, a layer, a layer on top of a layer. If you know anything about crypto, you understand. If you know anything about crypto, you understand about layers and bridges. I am waffling. Let me get back to the reaction. I don't think you're ready for This is hard. Like you can't possibly catch all of this stuff the first time around. Tech Nine is insane. You're still going, bro. Fucking no. War. 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 I don't think you're ready for warfare. Ready for warfare. I don't think you're ready for warfare. 
It, man i like the hook i think the hook is a strong hook um i like what i was hearing i like snow the product i think she did a good job mercury was all right tech nine is a goal um the hook was a strong hook it was a strong hook listen this is another episode of britain and bando i hope you enjoyed it as much as i enjoyed making it make sure you like make sure you subscribe make sure you hit that notification but if you like what we're doing you know what i'm saying support the channel you see my info down there in the corner also make sure you are sharing this stream and when you hit that notification bell make sure you're hitting all so that every time i drop one of these bad boys you will be notified immediately Amen.